were the Abrahamic religions influenced or even still some of the teachings of Zoroastrianism? Well, let's take a journey and we'll find out. Zoroastrianism is one of the, if not the oldest documented religions in the Near East. It is a proto-Indus Valley religion. Hinduism is the other one, and many other religions diverge from Zoroastrianism. One of them could possibly be your Judaism, which then becomes Christianity and Islam. In Zoroastrianism, there are some similarities. Let's see if you can identify some of them. According to Zoroastrianism, the primary god, the only god, is Azur Mazda. Ahura Mazda is in everything and created everything to be this wonderful, divine, beautiful, perfect place. There is no sin and you are not, original man is not born into a sinful world. But then sin comes into the world because demons grow. They come about. And one demon in particular grows and rises above all other demons. That's Agramanya. Agramanya becomes the version of the devil for the Zoroastrians. Now, Agramanya fights against the perfect ones or the immortal ones, which are equal to your archangels. These are de uh, uh, beings that are not Ahura Mazda, but they are not man, but fight on behalf of Azura Mazda against the demons. And these demons, they lie, they steal, they cheat, they try to convince people to do sinful things against Azura Mazda because the goal is for you to go back and reform and live in a perfect Arma, uh, perfect place with Azura Mazda after this Armageddon battle is supposed to happen between Azura Mazda and Argamenya. Argamenya also has a secondary name. But the intercessory in between these is a messiah type figure that comes in and teaches man the true ways of Ahura Mazda, how to live in unity with Ahura Mazda so that when your soul dies and you cross this bridge, you will then meet with a woman who is equal to the Sophia in Judaism. In the beginning with Sophia, God created the feminine aspect of Yahweh of Jehovah you meet with this woman and then you stand there in judgment to see if you have believed and followed the Messiah's teachings to be able to enter into a new perfect world of peace and tranquility and blessings of milk and honey that you have been uh, you have achieved through your belief and following the Hura Mazda if you see these similarities then you understand how these stories and these religions are connected and how they grow if you don't, cognitive dissonance.